Italian-born American artist Harry Bertoia designed the diamond chair for Noli in 1952, and this single design elevated him to the pantheon of modern design. Later, his sculptural installations complemented the same buildings that housed his chairs. From 1953 until his death in 1978, Bertoia focused his creative energies almost exclusively on sculpture. In his monumental work for the Standard Oil Building, Chicago's tallest skyscraper until the Sears Tower was completed, designed by post-war modernist Edward Durrell Stone in 1974, his mission was to craft a sensual relationship between nature, architecture, and art. Now, Bertoia's sculptures, which are integral to the story of Chicago modern architecture, are the latest offering at Wright Auction House. Richard Wright told me that Bertoia's original design perfectly echoed the quality of Edward Durrell Stone's architecture, while adding movement and sound to the exterior plaza of the building. Working with some of the greatest architects of the 20th century, Bertoia created large-scale sculptures in such prominent spaces as the General Motors Technical Center in Michigan, the chapel at MIT, and the International Airport in Virginia, all of which were designed by Ira Saarinen. For the Hanover Trust Company in New York, Bertoia created a seminal screen to divide the public and private sides of the bank. Bertoia sought to create not just a dialogue between sculpture and architecture, but also to explore light, motion, and sound. He became internationally celebrated for his sculpture, particularly after creating the landmark installation for the standard oil building, now known as the Aeon Center. To celebrate a dialogue with the waters of the lakefront tower, Bertoia composed a collection of 11 sun ambient kinetic sculptures which reflected the plaza pool with acoustic geometric vitality. Bertoia's work uplifted the building into one of Chicago Loop's most beloved spaces, a jewel among four public installations. The other three were created by Pablo Picasso, Alexander Calder, and Mark Chagall. In 1994, the plaza of the Standard Oil Building was redesigned and five of the sculptures were removed. Three of them are now offered at auction by Wright, while the other six remain gracing the plaza and attracting millions of visitors every year.